All right, so we're going to take a look at how to uh, combine WIM images to take use of single instance storaging. And the first thing we need to do that is two WIM images. So you'll see down here I have a clean version of WinPE, 108 megabytes, and a modified version of WinPE, which is 125 megabytes. So you can't actually uh, append a WIM image file to another WIM image file. What you need to do is you need to append a volume to a WIM file. So this can either be a hard drive operating system or you can take a WIM file and mount it to a folder. And in this case, I've mounted my modified WinPE. You'll see it has this extra tools and some batch files. And I've mounted it to this mount folder. So now we can append this image to a WIM file. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use ImageX. And then we use the append parameter. And we point to the volume that we want to append. So in this case, it would be WinPE slash mount. And then we are going to tell it where we want to append that volume to. And we want to append it to winpe.wim because that is just the regular version. And then we give it a little name, uh, modified winpe. And it will begin uh, the process of appending um, that image to a new image file within that WIM image. And uh, the thing about single instance storaging is that because there are similarities between those WIM Im uh, WinPE images, only the differences will be uh, copied into that new image. And when it wants to create a full copy of that second image that we added, it uses the files from the first image as a reference. Therefore, it doesn't have to keep multiple copies of the same file, or, or doesn't have to keep mul multiple copies of the same data. Um, so this is going to take a little bit. I'm going to cut it off here, and I'll bring you guys back when this is done. All right, so it's finished, and you'll see that it took uh, approximately two and a half minutes to append those images. So now what we can do is we can check out our WinPE image. And you'll notice that now it's a little bit larger than the first one. Now it's 129 megabytes, and it should have a second image in there. Well, how do we know? We can use imagex slash info and point to that WIM image and you will see in here we have image index 1 and image index 2 and it has the name that I gave it somewhere down here modified WinPE so that is how to append WIM images together uh, you have to mount it uh, because it needs to append from a volume uh, you can't append file to file and it takes uh, uh, it, it shows you how to take advantage of the single instance storaging and uh, that's it thanks for watching